What's up guys, thank you for watching another video. Today's final day where we actually prepped the Eclipse for its E85 tune. I know we had a video like this pretty much a couple weeks back, but more things came up and well, the car wasn't exactly ready for the tune and we were pretty much waiting for our appointment. Our appointment is pretty much set out a couple days from now. It's all official. I hit up some at Road Race and it's gonna get dyno tuned pretty much there. Um, at this point, we do have some new parts to install on the car right before the tune. We're gonna go ahead and do a boost leak test. We're gonna be installing a catch can, a CSF radiator, a full size so it doesn't overheat at all, and pretty much just overlook the car and make sure that everything's pretty much ready for its dyno tune. If anything, I'm just gonna bring you guys along. As you guys already know, every video we pretty much just wing it. Whatever happens, happens, and we just go with the flow. So at this point, I'm actually gonna head out to BZ Moto Engineering because they're always helping out. And we're pretty much going to start on the install and the boost league test and doing all this stuff to it. So um, let's see what happens. Let's have some fun and let's pray for the best. So. I barely drive this car, but when I do, you guys, I'm serious. It's such a great feeling. This car will never get old to me. So we made it to the BZ Motor facility. Here I have some of the parts that we're gonna be installing. So we have this Evo 8 and 9 catch can that we're gonna run on the DSM. Um, it's currently used, but Jeff over from Raw Power Motor Works hooked it up. And we also have this Evo 8 and 9 CSF slim fan radiator. It comes with a full size slim radiator. It comes with the fittings. Uh, these are weld on or just, you could just slap these on. You have the option. And it also comes with a 12 inch spell fan, which is basically like the best fans for radiators. Um, we are upgrading the radiator because as you guys know, the car does tend to overheat, um, especially with a half size radiator. It's really, really annoying to drive with this. Um, and after we went with the AM standalone, I noticed that my temperatures are around like 210 um, at cruising speeds, which is really, really high. And again, this is a full kit. You could find it on the CSF website. This is for the Evo 7, 8, and 9. All right, so let's start off with the catch can setup. I'm gonna put you guys on the GoPro. All right guys, so as you guys can see, the catch can setup is pretty much set up with the valve on. BZ actually had to tune a Porsche in there as you guys can see. So we moved the car out to the uh, basically the, uh, the back of the complex. Um, we're actually gonna go ahead and start on the radiator install. Uh, just by looking at it, we're already looking at some difficulty with installing it uh, because of course it's not meant for the DSM, it's meant for an Evo. I'll show you guys what I'm talking about right now, but we're gonna have to basically remove the old Mission Motor radiator. Um, basically just stop the overheating issue. Right, so Marvin the welder here at BZ Moto Engineering went ahead and pretty much told me to remove the hot side of the piping because we're going to reroute it and we have to remove the O2 dump as well. Anyways, I literally wore like the worst clothes to like work on cars but um, yeah, let's go back on the GoPro and let's get these things off. As you guys can see, it sits a little too tall, especially on this side. Like I mentioned, it's due to the intercooler piping hitting right there. So we have to reroute that. And in order to route that, we have to reroute this O2 dump. So some fab work involved, but there isn't any aluminum radiators for the 428 chassis that would be able to fit with the 420 or the evil motor, but this is what happens when you do a whole swap and you know nothing's gonna fit 100 percent There you go. Out. All right, so we have the O2 dump out and the intercooler pipe out. I'm gonna take these to Marvin to weld and let's see how they look. All right, 
so we have Marvin uh, pretty much measuring the custom mounts to mount onto the DSM. It's gonna work as magic, and we should have the radiator on in a bit. Cryptic Here's a quick update. Marvin came in super clutch. As you guys can see, look at this. We're gonna end up actually upgrading all my piping just like this up there on the hot, on the cold side. Um, this is just for now to basically clear the radiator. As you guys can see, it's perfect. We got this, we got this, we got the radiator up there. Um, unfortunately, we didn't pay attention and I kind of damaged the side skirt extension, especially on this side. It bums me out because they're from Carbonetics and they're really nice pieces, but you guys can see the damage right there. But stuff like this happens. Um, I'm pretty much just going to go ahead and tidy up all the bolts and stuff like that. I do want to do a leak down on it to make sure that the head gasket didn't blow again because it was overheating a lot on me. So I just want to be safe because I don't want to take it to the dyno, especially with a blown head gasket. It's going to be pretty much pointless. So um, I also want to have to do a boost leak test, make sure there's no you know leaks anywhere. Cause I like this is loose as you guys can see. So I want to make sure everything's tight, everything's good. Um, and the car should be ready for the dyno this coming Thursday. So it all depends on the leak down test, but I'm gonna start putting everything back together and then we'll start on the boost leak test first. All right, so now that the radiator setup is on, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the intake and do a smoke test basically to check for boost leaks. All right guys, so by the looks of it, we have no boost leaks, so that's a good sign. At this point, we're gonna do the leak down test to make sure we didn't blow a head gasket again. It's not pushing coolant, so cylinder one's good. All right, so we're going down to 100. So far, so good. All right, so 100 right there. We're good. Is it pushing coolant? Nope, no coolant. Cylinder three is good. All right, cylinder four. And all the way down to 100. Man, pushing coolant. Nope, we're good. Okay, it's going, it's going. Good, good numbers. Well, I mean, when you with it, you don't have it Check for coolant. But if you have a, if you have a CCW, looks yeah. good, right? All right, we're gonna go ahead and test drive it. Make sure it's all good and doesn't overheat. Just to make sure everything's good. Um, 
but I'm gonna end the video here. Stay tuned for the next one because that's where we're gonna be going to the dyno out in road race with Sam. Um, and let's see how much power the car makes or doesn't because you know it's a DSM, so I don't know what to expect. Um, anyways, I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.